They're so shocked when they hear this drop Cause the clock that Lon is an artist now <laughs>because I'm not getting lipstick on my teeth this time. Yeah, bitch is back or whatever. Mm. Yep, no lipstick on my teeth, lipstick check. A bitch is back! A bitch is motherfucking back! I haven't posted in a fucking month, guys. So, I said to myself, today's the day I have to film. It's by force. It's by force, and I don't want none of you to think it's because, yeah, that, like, you know, I've lost the love of YouTube, or I don't even know that I'm going through it. Like, sis, I was just preparing for HBIC. Like, I know a lot of you seen the preview and think like it's all done, but this is me, Lani. Like, I'm extra. Like, I'm not gonna do one music video and just have two scenes. Like, obviously, Bad Boy had three. I think it was three to four scenes, but Bad Boy wasn't like a real thing. Like, Bad Boy was bands, yeah. Obviously, came off a meme. Everyone knows that. HBIC is actually a song that I took seriously. And even if people don't like it, I'm still proud of myself because I put my all into it. Regardless of the outcome, I put my all into it. But a bitch like me can't just have three to four scenes. Are you fucking crazy? What, three to four looks? Me! In my real thing? No way. Like, let me tell you guys, like, you know, a bitch had to have her outfits on outfits on outfits, looks on scenes on scenes. Do you understand? Like, trying to come like I'm the black Ariana Grande. Do you understand? Like, and that's on period. So I was making outfits, I was making props, just trying to make sure that my vision is like my dream, like a ghetto Barbie. Like still to this day, like still to this day, I'm still like, I need to add another scene, like, <laughs> I need to add another scene. Like I'm so extra, I'm such a visual person, I'm really creative, so um that's just me like i swear to god guys still to this day like if i could add this extra scene that i've come up with in my head in my sleep i would bitch like i would bitch do you understand but after hbic drops so there's gonna be a little documentary just explaining the whole the whole process because like a sis tried like i tried i died i'm not gonna lie but anyway i'm not gonna lie to you guys like I've had a very crazy and eventful last, what, two months? Two months? Bad boy of information, getting dragged for smash on pass. Like, okay, this video is gonna be like a little catch up, but then at the end of it, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story time. Basically, like, a lot of people, like, obviously, obviously started to hate on sis, and then obviously, like, I then revealed the whole Tion Wayne thing and a lot of people were confused like what's going on with this this girl like but basically I was gonna reveal that I had smoke with Tion Wayne in HBIC not bad boy information but because I went viral for bad boy information my people told me just do it now you've got all eyes on you so do it now that's why it was it was flipped the way it was but it was always gonna come out so a lot of people who are on the internet chatting shit saying oh she's just trying to distract from the fact that she went viral for smash and pass bitch i was gonna been do that that's when i said if i wanted to go viral i could go viral that's what i was talking about i've been sitting on that for time i've been already written a song i've been already like, do you understand like i've been already sitting for my man like so it was like okay Anyway, I'm gonna say this. I did not expect the nigga to reply. Guys, I did not expect the nigga to reply. When he replied, I was like... I mean, I'm thinking this is a whole T on Wayne, do you understand? This is a whole T on Wayne, like he's blown. Like, he's not going to address some small YouTuber like me, do you get it? Like, so, I know the accusations were mad, but I still thought he would air me. So when he, I swear to God, my whole team was like, are you ready? Like, he's gonna reply to you. And I was thinking, he ain't gonna reply. And I kept saying, you don't know him like I know him. You don't know him like I know him. He's not gonna reply. You guys have nothing to worry about. The nigga ain't gonna reply. He ain't gonna say Pim. And there you go. Like, what, like two hours after the vid came out. That's because of you lot. Because you lot are troublemakers. You lot was on his fucking neck. It's because of you lot. 
knew you a lot you fucking troublemakers Woo. <laughs> i just managed to make the nigga to reply i'm gonna <laughs> to you guys oh let me drink my drink okay now i specific i don't want to talk too much on on that because i feel like that will be on another video i'm gonna do another video where i react to everything he said you know what I'm saying? Or you never know, like, what life will bring. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe I could, like, confront him on YouTube, like, a phone call or in person. Who knows, innit? Or I'll just react to the tweets. I, I, I don't know. But what I do want to say is this. Um, I'm going to address him smashing my window. I'm going to address that. So, guys, now... As you can see, this is my bedroom in Enfield. I'm not in my apartment. Um, I'm not in my apartment yet. Reason being, um, because Jesus is Jesus is Lord. That firework was whoa, was wham. The reason I haven't moved into my apartment is just simply because I have no furniture. I have no furniture. I have a mattress on the floor. Nope, no furniture. And the reason I have no furniture is because I have been um, preparing for HBIC. I know a lot of people might not understand when I say like, what do you mean preparing for this video? Basically, I made a prop for the video and um, it was a big project for me to make that, that prop. It took hours and hours. And when I say uh, it took days, it took weeks to make that prop. I, I physically made this item of thing that I wanted in my music video. And it was so time consuming. Um, it just, that's why I haven't been on YouTube. That, that's generally the truth. There was a period of time where I wasn't even posting too tough on Instagram because of this prop. This prop took me away from my Instagram, my YouTube, my, um, my fucking apartment. Like, I t I'm really, really into like interior design, like, and I'm really into like, I'm being creative. I'm a very creative person. So I'm never gonna be a type of person that's going to, 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 to decorate their home on a rush or, 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 or a quick thing. Like, I want to take my time feeling um, fabrics and, and, and choosing colors and color schemes. I've already chosen my color scheme and I already know what my bedroom's gonna look like, but I need to find these perfect beds. I want to make sure the wood is like to my standard and gorgeous and, and not just like some cheap um, collapsed material. Oh, by the way, I hope you look like my nails. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, put the, um, Instagram to the girl that done my nails in and the link in my description and my hair it's two different people but I'm gonna do that but yeah basically I'm not someone who's gonna rush that process it's, it's never gonna be that so um I didn't wanna in between I didn't wanna be like okay I have two hours to look for something let me find some um, pattern a bed and then go back to making my prop um, I just kind of thought, just get HBIC out of the way. And at the end of the day, like, we have now reach, reached the finishing line. HBIC is going to be out in a matter of, I'm not going to say, I want to surprise you guys, but it's going to be out real soon. So, um, because it's coming out, I can now um, put my focus on other things. And I'm actually catching up, even with just cleaning. Like, I haven't, like, cleaned certain areas. Um, like, I've got this room where all my clothes stay in my house in Enfield. That, it's a fucking pigsty. Like, I can get, I can do that. Uh, d loads of different bullshits that I've neglected because of this pop. Um, so yeah, like when the song comes out, you guys will definitely see me um, film there. I'm also gonna do part four of the Tion Wayne saga um, in um, in the apartment. You guys are gonna see that. A lot of people have been asking me, are we gonna hear about how the watch situation happened? Obviously it's gonna be my side of the story. If you wanna hear his side of the story, that's up to him. But um, I'm going to definitely do that and I'm going to do that on my channel within within the week, I would say. Within the week or so, you're going to hear my story time about how Tion Wayne finessed me. At the end of the day, I don't feel bad. I don't give a heck because if he felt a type of way, he would have... He would have what? He would have patted me right now. He would have patted me, but he don't care. He obviously wants me to do the story time. Maybe that's how he sees that I'll get my money back. I don't know. Do you understand? But the niggas don't want to pay me. So whatever. So anyway, let's talk about the friggin' smashing of the window or whatever. So that night I was actually at my apartment, sleeping on my mattress. Um, and my sisters called me, yeah? 
that day I was on live, um, just chatting, because I, I don't remember what he did to piss me, I actually don't remember what he did to piss me off. I'd, oh my God, he done something to piss me off, that's why I went on live. Who knows? The nigga did something to piss me off, yeah? So, no, I remember I started it. I was being messy. Like, I was like, I, I replied to one of my supporters asking about his children, and I was chatting, chatting, chatting. He got a little bit, I think he got a bit upset. Then I went on live, and I was just chatting, 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 explaining how I felt and how I was, like, heartbroken and all of this and the rest. And then cool i went to my apartment i went bed like i was literally there for a couple hours and my sister called me and basically said um and tion come smash your win the window basically so i come back and basically a lot of people were like confused with the with the window so he um it's double glazing so he only was able to get through one layer now a lot of people might be like how do you know it was tion now when I used to piss him off, he he used to threaten me with smashing my window. He would say, um, not my house window though, like my car. He would say, if you ever like really piss me off or do me something, I'm like, I'm going to make sure like I fuck up your whip or... I remember his exact words to me. Like I'm actually remembering his exact words to me is that he would do the side mirror. Because he said to me the side mirror is mad expensive to, to fix. Is that true? Is that true? I, I wouldn't know if that's true or not, but he was just like, he would smash up my window, smash up my, the side mirror. I'm not the only girl he smashed up, you know, windows of, like, so... No, I'm saying, like, it's definitely in his character. It's not out of character at all. That's how he reacts, to be honest with you. Could, things could have been worse. So, initially, when I saw it, I was upset, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe he done this. And I was like, this fucking idiot. Ooh, them fireworks. They're pretty. What are we celebrating? Anyway, whatever. Let me close this. Jesus is. Am I ever gonna be able to film with this noise? So initially, guys, I was kind of a bit like upset because um, I thought to myself, on top, on top of paying for um, this um, fucking debt of yours, you fucking cunt you want me to pay for my fucking window it's not cheap nigga do you know what i'm saying so on top of you owing me money you want me to pay for this fucking window so i was pissed off you know what i'm saying no i was upset like at first but then like as the day went on like i kind of found it a bit humorous like eh, eh. you know like i felt a bit petty i felt like what's that saying you know like I felt like, mm, you mad, uh, you mad, uh. <laughs> that's how I felt, like, I got under his skin, like, I irritated him, and I felt like that's the least emotion he could feel after the way he's made me feel, do you understand, after the shit he's put me through, that is the least he could feel, that's the least, what, you mad, you mad, uh. And that's on periods. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a heck. Um, so yeah, I kind of saw the funnier side of it. Like as the day went by and stuff. Um, so yeah, and also for a lot of people who probably think like, oh, you know, it's all, all over the Lani and Tion beef, bitch. A bitch, you got waited four years to talk about the nigga for what? what a couple videos and uh, and one song like you mad you crazy you crazy there's more to come okay you're gonna get part four get me you're gonna get a couple cents in a song and then i don't know in it like if he wants to really squash it I, f I feel like we will have that um final convo kind of thing and we haven't had that it needs to be like you know that when op squash it they'll have like a final op convo so we'd have to have like a final op convo like oh, all right lani like this is the end jam yeah? like these are my terms this is what i'm gonna do for you or vice versa kind of thing like okay cool i ain't gonna talk about you no more 
you know, um, I, I don't, I don't fucking know. Pay for my window, pay for, I, I don't know. But, um, he, he ain't paying for my window. Another thing I was gonna say, I almost forgot, is, um, I really wanted revenge for what he done to my window, so, like, I was, I wanted to do something to his car, but I don't know where, I don't, I don't even know what car he drives, he, he drives a range? I'm, I'm not even sure, I ain't seen the nigga in a year. So, I don't know what car the guy drives, I don't even know where he lives now, because the only place I've ever been is to his parents' house. But if you guys know his address, DM me that shit. If you know his reg registration number, DM me that shit. Okay? It can't just be my property getting um ruined. Are you motherfucking dumb? It can't be just be my property getting um fucked up. No, bitch. <sighs> Do I'm saying we need to do a little of our own, a little. I know you guys think I'm crazy for saying that on YouTube. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I don't give a fuck. And I never said I'm gonna smash his car up, you know. You know? I might just, you know, do something light. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm finally gonna do my little story time. And I just thought like, because you guys haven't heard from me in such a long time, I was gonna do a story time on the first love of my life. So I've been in love twice. And both times I thought I was gonna marry um, the guys. So the first guy who um, I thought was the love of my life, I'm gonna call him Larry. And I was with him for three years. And um, Larry was a little pagan, a little cheater. So I'm gonna tell you about the time, yeah? Because it's all related to this. That's why I remember the story. It's all related to this. Let me tell you about the time Larry had this baby mother who didn't like sis. She didn't like me, that bitch didn't like me, and that's on period. And she tried to make my life hell. And she did me and him dirty. Let me tell you the story about that. So, I don't know how old I was. Maybe I was like, I don't know, 22. And basically, me and my boyfriend were going strong. He ends up getting nicked and going jail. He's doing, um, he's on remand for, I would say like, he was on remand for like eight months, yeah? Now, I don't know how this works, but my boyfriend, um, when he went jail, he had like some savings in PayPal. It wasn't loads, it was like three grand. And he sent it to me, right? And he said, um, I'm gonna send you all the money to your PayPal. And I said, cool babes. And he said, hold on to it for me till I come out. I said, cool babes. But then what happened was he, um... oh, so what happened is I wanted to be, what's that girl's name? What's that girl's name? Thingy's wifey. That guy that came out of jail. That black guy. Ke Her name starts with K. Kama, 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 something. She's always wearing design and shit. Anyway, you see that girl, yeah? You see how when he went to jail, he, um, he came out, um, he came out of jail when she'd like doubled his money or she'd invested it and he had more money. Right, so, I was trying to do what she did before she even did what she did because she did she did that shit after me yeah so i was trying to be ride or die before before her get me i was trying to raise my 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 niggas money up but obviously i don't have a million to work with i had three grand to work with so you know what i'm saying so because um i had no business ideas i just decided that i was gonna like starve myself a little bit and i used to get 300 pounds in allowance so yes yeah, get 300 pounds in allowance so i used to like i would eat less food so I would only, use, like, I would give him, like, I'll put, like, half of it in there. So I'd put, like, 150 in there. I used 150 for myself. So then I would, like, you know, not be able to have, buy, like, luxury toilet paper. Not luxury, but I wouldn't be able to buy the good toilet paper. I'd have to buy the shit one. I couldn't have, like, um, two pieces of chicken. I'd have to have one. Like, I really tried to help him out. I wanted him to come out to at least four to five grand. Four to five grand, that was my aim. So anyway... By the way, don't do that for no mans. Okay? I'm just letting you know, yeah, even if I did that, do not do that for no mans. Don't do it. It's, it's, it's literally gonna get you nothing but heartbreak. Niggas don't even rate girls that do too much for them. I learned that the hard way, so don't do what I did. Don't do too much for a nigga. Don't chase no nigga. Don't do it! Don't do it! Even cooking for a guy is stupid. Listen, until really you put a rock on my finger, why am I cooking for you? 
Why every day is about women proving themselves to a guy? This was my boyfriend, obviously, but I wouldn't even do that for a boyfriend. Really and truly, until me, I know that you, me and you are gonna get married. Why am I cooking for you? Why was I raising money for my boyfriend? Why? Right now, this second, all that money I raised for him, can it run back to me? Because I could, I could use it. I need to finish a whole apartment. I could use that money, do you understand? Like, don't do none of that shit for no man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck all of them. Cool. So basically, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, um, he's gonna have more money than what he went in with. I'm a ride or die, la la la. And then when he was in there, I'm not really sure what happened, but basically he wanted a certain lawyer, something to do with the legalities, right? And he needed um, the money. Now, his baby mother was also helping him sort out the legalities, right? Um, so she, um, I don't remember the technical, the technical, um, like the, the story here, like I don't remember it word for word. What I mean by that is I don't remember how the, why, how she was gonna help with the money, but I was a uni student and she worked, she was a school teacher. So I don't know if she, it just looked better or they needed an address for him to go to when he came out of jail and because she, I don't know in it, but the point is it was better her um, putting her, her name forward and, and paying, using the money but paying for him so he told me to transfer the three grand to her but then i was just like oh babes like like a dickhead i was just like oh babes i was trying to raise money for you too so babes basically i've raised like you know i think at the time i only had because this was quickly in right it wasn't like seven eight months down the, the the line it was like a month or two in so i was like i've only raised 500 pounds for you And he was like, oh, you're so sweet. And I was, he was like, I can use, and, he, and I was like, you can use that if you want, like for your lawyer, whatever you want to use it for. And he was like, cool, cool, thank you, babes. Like, run, like, send it to, to what's her face. So I was like, of course, baby, you know, I love you. <laughs> so I sent him, I sent her all the, the, the money, like the three bills, the three grand that was his and the five bills that was mine. And then a couple weeks go on, a couple weeks go on, a couple months go on, and then all I know is like, um, at, at this point, like me and him, like I'm just missing my baby. Really, bitch. Um, I'm just missing my baby, my baby, like my, my, my baby dad. I don't really give a fuck about the money. But then my, my boyfriend gets denied for bail um, cause I think the lawyer was gonna help him get bail. So he's not gonna get bail. He still has to still remand. And, um, I guess I just assumed she was holding the money at this point because I never, I was never asked to, um, get it back. And because I thought he was coming out, I actually stopped saving as well. But cut a long story short, bitch, he came out of jail in, eventually after seven to eight months. And even though I had stopped saving, um, like a big lump sum of money for him. I think I managed when he got out because he was quite depressed I had managed to um, Save enough money to buy him a new iPhone Because um, Basically he used to complain that his iPhone like out here was dead and whatever So when we met up to talk like when he got out I asked him about like, oh, okay. Cause he was like complaining. Like he was like, I really have to like set myself up. Um, I have to start from square one. But I was just like, at least you have your free grand. And he was like, no, basically she used it. She spent it. And I was like, pardon? She spent all the money, including my five bills. She, um, she, he left a bag at hers. And it had his Beats by Dre, it had all his uh, um, all his belongings in there. And the bitch, the bitch just stole it. I don't know if she took it and she and she she sold it, but the bitch stole it. That bitch owes me 500 motherfucking pounds because I did not save that money for you. I didn't save that money for you, ho. I don't even fucking know you like that. 
And that bitch didn't even like me. She did not like me at all. She was like, that Lani girl can't be around him, um, around my son until you two are engaged or going to be married. I never did nothing to you. Like, he's my boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? But... So, like, that's one of the first times in life I ever got finesse, but obviously that was by a female. Um, did it hurt? Not really. It was only five bills, and also, um, I guess in theory she stole from him. She didn't steal from me. And also, like, it's not like I'm in love with a bitch. Like, she wasn't my friend. So, the pain, I was just pissed off. I wasn't hurt. It's completely different to the Tion thing, you know what I'm saying? Because, um, that he was my whole world, so... But guys, there you go, that's a little story time. Um, that's the first boy I ever, ever loved. I was also pussy for him. Pussy for him, but I was less pussy for him than I was for DJ. But he's the first guy I ever thought for real that I was gonna marry. I thought that was my baby Zed, my baby Zeddy. I thought that was my husband. I swear to God, if I stayed with him, we would be 100%. I know on my life would be married all my life he was my world like i swear to god he was my everything so um yeah the bitch stole from us um and i'm not gonna lie to you we actually broke up soon after he came out of jail like jail just changed him he became super bitter he became super like just like negative vibes and yeah um he dumped me he actually dumped me it wasn't uh, i didn't break up with him he dumped me he dumped me. Imagine I wait for this guy whilst he was in jail, loyal. Loyal, waiting for this nigga. And he came out and he dumped me. I don't think you guys are hearing me. He dumped me. I didn't cheat on him. When he was locked and he was in that jail, no one was touching the punani. Like, I kept that seal for him. I was loyal to him. And then he got out of jail and he dumped me because he said that I was annoying because I kept nagging him because he wasn't being loving I remember because we was having hella arguments because he wasn't being as loving as he used to be and um I would always nag him like why are you not being nice to me why you don't say you love me um all the time why don't you give me more kisses why don't you call me like I was just being really like whiny and so he broke up with me and I remember when he broke up with me, I was so vexed. I was like, I'm never going back to this nigga, ever, ever. I don't care what happens here, we're done, done. Fine, you wanna be done, we're done, done. And obviously, um, like I think a year later, he tried to get back with me, but. <laughs> no. I wanted to make sure that he paid. I'm really petty. And I hold grudges. Like, if you do me dirty, I'm really gonna hold a grudge. So when he came back, I was just thinking, no, are you fucking crazy? Like, if he came back now, maybe I would entertain it, but then I was just so, I was on petty mode. Like, you ain't never getting this back. And that's on what period? That's on what period? After I waited for you, you wanna dump this? You shouldn't be dumping me. You should put a ring on my finger while I, when I fucking waited for you. Buying your motherfucking iPhone while, whilst you was in jail. I'm saving up for you to get your fucking iPhone. Is you crazy, ho? And then you want to dump me? So I hold a motherfucking grudge. I hold a grudge. Yeah? And I'm still holding a grudge on Tion motherfucking Wayne. Okay? It's not over. And it's not going to be over to the mother, um, the, the fact. Motherfucking lady sings. We're gonna do a motherfucking story time on how you fucking finesse me. And then after the fucking story time, we're also going to address his bullshit tweet. I don't give a heck. And if anybody has got the location for his motherfucking car, send it to me. Because a bitch is what? Ready. And that's on what? That's on what? That's on what? Period. <laughs> Period. That's on what? That's on what? That's on what? Period. Send me the motherfucking location because I'm a pull up. Okay? I'm a pull up. You want to smash my motherfucking window, nigga? You want to smash my motherfucking window, nigga? I got something for your ass. Okay? I got something for your ass. Send me your location. Oh, I'm so hot. Send me your location, nigga. And that's on what? And that's on what? And that's on what? And that's on period. Sending me your location. Because I got something for your motherfucking ass.
ass nigga okay that's on period okay so that's the end of this motherfucking video okay hope you liked it like i said a bitch is back a bitch is ready we're gonna be um active on the youtubes active on the youtubes two to three videos a week okay bitch and just remember hbic is dropping soon guys it's gonna be a really important day we finna make a big deal out of it i'm making a finna a, a big motherfucking deal out of it i'm having a fucking cake delivered to my house on the day are you fucking stupid it's hbic day are you a head bitch in charge that's what i want to motherfucking know because i'm a head bitch in charge you understand and that's on period i want all the sisters all the girls to get out flick their hair look sexy get ready to twerk get ready to cuss your ops do you understand pink everything hbic is fucking coming out okay Anyway, guys, until the next video, love you. <laughs> Bye! They're so shocked when they hear this drop because the clock that Lon is artist now. <laughs>